A person rides up a lift to a mountaintop, but the person's ears fail to pop. That is, the pressure of the inner ear does not equalize with the outside atmosphere. The radius of each eardrum is 0.35 centimeters. The pressure of the atmosphere drops from 1.01 from the fifth pascals at the bottom of the lift to 0.998 from the fifth pascals at the top. What is the pressure on the inner ear at the top of the mountain? What is the magnitude of the net force on each eardrum? All right. So we're looking at the pressure on the inner ear for someone as they're riding up an airlift. The radius of the inner ear is 0.35 centimeters. Uh, when we convert that to meters, that's going to be 0 0.0035 meters. If we go ahead and calculate the area of the inner ear, we're going to assume the inner ear to be perfectly circular. So that's going to be pi r squared, so pi times 0 0.0035 squared. times pi. That gives us 3.85 times 10 to the negative fifth meters squared. Okay, now the radius of each eardrum is 3.35 centimeters. The pressure of the atmosphere drops from 1.01 times 10 to the fifth pascals um, at the bottom. So the pressure at the bottom is equal to this. The pressure at the top is equal to 0 0.998 times 10 to the fifth pascals. And what's happening here is you have a person who's going from an environment that's at a high pressure to an environment that's at a lower pressure. And the inner ear, it has equalized at the uh, higher pressure but now it's been moved to a lower pressure area, and the body, the internal pressure of the human body is 1.01 to the fifth pascals, but the outside pressure has changed to 0.998. So the actual pressure on the ear is the difference between the two pressures. Uh, 1.01 times 10 to the fifth minus 0 0.998 times 10 to the fifth, and that gives us 1,200 pascals. Now, pressure is equal to force over area. And the problem is asking, what is the pressure on the inner ear at the top of the mountain? That's 1,200 pascals. What is the magnitude of the force on the eardrum? The force is going to be equal to the pressure times the area. The pressure is 1,200, and the area is 3.85 times 10 to the negative fifth. So that force is going to be... 3.85 times 10 to the fifth. That force is going to be 0.0462 newtons. And you can round that to 0.05 newtons, that's fine.